rather pleasant flying alone. You see, there's certainly nobody to quarrel with or to contradict you. Nobody to say yes if you say no. Oh, I think it's good fun flying alone. Arguably Britain's most famous aviatrix, Amy Johnson was born July 1, 1903, in Hull, Yorkshire. Following her graduation from Sheffield University in 1923, she moved to London, where her interest in aviation began. It was not long before her hobby gave way to an all-consuming determination to prove women's competence in the field. She qualified as the first British-trained female ground engineer and was the only woman in the world to do so at the time. In early 1930, she set her sights on a solo flight to Australia to beat Bert Hinkler's record of 16 days. Her initial efforts in raising financial support failed, but eventually her father, an oil magnate, came through with the 600 British pound purchase price of a used de Havilland gypsy moth. Amy set off alone from Croydon on May 5, 1930, and landed in Darwin 21 days later, flying over 11,000 miles. She was the first woman to fly solo to Australia and came home to a hero's welcome. The early 1930s saw Amy set off across the world on more flights, many being record setters. This included two solo flights to Cape Town from England and once in a puss moth from England to Japan. She was also joined by her husband, Jim Mollison, on several flights. One nonstop from South Wales to the US in a de Havilland Dragon, then competing in the England to Australia air race. During that race, the two set a new record time, flying nonstop to India in a de Havilland Comet. After World War II broke out, she joined the Air Transport Auxiliary, ferrying aircraft from factory airstrips to Royal Air Force bases. It was on one of those routine ferry flights that Amy crashed into the Thames estuary and was presumed drowned on January 5th, 1941, becoming the first person from the Air Transport Auxiliary to be killed in service. Amy not only stretched the boundaries of aviation, her contributions to engineering were renowned, serving as president of the Women's Engineering Society for two years before the war. Amy Johnson was an engineer, a pioneer aviatrix, and adventurer. We celebrate her contributions to the world and honor her life of pushing the boundaries. Mm -hmm.